Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the Elements of Azeroth series of puzzles. This is Elements of Fire by Ragnaros. And the first time you see Ragnaros, um, particularly back in vanilla days when you just saw that pillar of fire raise out and it was like, oh my lord, that thing is huge. Um, and the big speech and everything is such a powerful moment. Oh man, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. Um, Molten Core was, was such an experience the first time. Um, so yes, what is the Elements of Azeroth series? So as you are almost certainly aware by now, um, at the time of recording, um, Rockrat Zero is doing a periodic puzzle project, Chemistry Meets Sudoku um, book, which is 118 puzzles themed around the real chemical elements, um, which will contain a lot of information and scientific information about the elements, as well as provide you with a lot of puzzles. And he's running a Kickstarter for it, which will end mid-September 2020. The details of that are below where you can go and check out the details of the Kickstarter, but I highly recommend it. Um, the entry level, which will give you a PDF of all the puzzles, is only $15 US. There are other tiers above that, but that is just going to be an amazing value for um, puzzles. Um, but in order to support Rock Rat Zero, we decided to do something a bit silly. We like being silly here and do... Um, the elements of Azeroth, which are basically air, earth, fire, water, life, and shadow, and do a series of puzzles where we could turn around and say, we're supporting Rock Rat Zero. Now, these have all been set anonymously, as often happens on the mini series on my channel. I only know who set one of these puzzles. Um, the others are not 100% sure. Um, and um, I suspect I know, but I'm not sure. Um, and um, all of and basically it's based around World of Warcraft because at the moment over on my gaming channel I'm playing a lot of World of Warcraft and they've got these different elements but it's a silly thing to do I do know for certain that none of these puzzles were created by Rock Rat Zero so do not use these puzzles as a measure of the quality of puzzles in the Kickstarter um, I imagine they're going to be a lot better Rock Rat Zero is an amazing puzzle constructor but these were just a bit of fun that we could do to share puzzles with you, which is what I love to do here, as well as to um, have a silly way of promoting Rock Rat Zero's book without actually having to get Rock Rat Zero to do all of the work. So hopefully you enjoy the silly theme that we've done for this. Um, and even if you don't care about the theming or anything, they're puzzles. Just enjoy the puzzles. So let's go through the rules and then let's give elemental fire a, a go. Hopefully it'll be easier than farming elemental fire was back in the day, whether you decided to do it in Arathi Highlands or over in um, uh, Stone Talon Mountains, or there were a couple of other places. Um, you could also do it in um, the other most common place to do it, I think was in Nguru Crater because of all the fire resistance potions that people would make. Let's have a look at the rules. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Again, parity lines. So digits on the fire line um, alternate between odd and even digits. So if this was odd, this would be even, this would be odd, or vice versa. And then XV pairs. Digits separated by an X, sum to 10. Digits separated by a V, sum to five. Not all Xs and Vs are given. It's perfectly fine. The same way as um, these digits have different parity and there's no line you don't need lines everywhere. You don't need X's and V's everywhere. Before I, I'll restart the puzzle to restart my timer. But before I start, if you've ever played World of Warcraft and you've ever run Molten Core or anything, or however you've played, leave comments below to let me know just what your World of Warcraft experiences are. I'm really interested. Or feel free to jump over to my Bremster Games channel and join me while I'm playing it over there. I'm playing a very different way and having a lot of fun. Let's give this a shot. So I can see we've got two Vs in these boxes. So, oh, actually, no. So these digits have to be below five because you can't make a two-digit five sum with digits that are five or higher. Otherwise, the other side would have to be zero or negative. So these digits have to be below five and they can't be one, two. So these are three or four. So these are one and two. Oh, and the four is looking up. Well, that gives me everything. That's three, that's four. This is one, and this is two. So now I know odd and even. So let's select all of the odd digits. It's a, it's a parity puzzle. So let's select all of the odd digits and color them odd. Let's select all of the even digits and color them even. Now, four means this is a six, and three means this is a seven. Wow, this is a 
an easy start. So these digits are one, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. And this can't be an eight because this has to be an odd digit. This is even, this is odd, 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 and this is even. If this is, okay, V clue. Yeah, okay, how do we do this V clue? Well, it can't, this has to be two, three, and this is odd. So this is three and this is two, so this is even. This is an even digit on a V clue, so it's two or four. So this is one or three, which means this is odd. This is an X clue. And any two digits summing to an even number like 10 have to be the same parity because, um, yeah, an even digit. If you add an odd digit to an even digit, you end up with an odd number, but you've got um, 10 is an even number. So this must be even and this must be even and this must be odd. And they're all four evens in the column. I've got exactly the same as in the previous puzzle. I wonder if this was, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, this. Uh, but these are even. So this is either two, eight, or four, six. This is, oh, this can't be two, eight. This is four, six. Which puts four in one of those two and six in one of those two, except the six is looking down, making this the six. And now I've got four and six and four and six. This has to be a four, six pair, which means this is even. And this can't be four, six anymore. So this is a two, eight. And the two is looking down, making that the eight and that the two which means this is the four and this is the one. The four is looking down, making that the six and that the four, and this has to be an eight. Well, this is happening fast. Doesn't mean it's bad, it's just happening fast. This V clue is a one four because of the fact that it can't be two three. This is an even digit. I forgot to continue this line into this box. And it's not two, four, or eight. This is a six. These are all odd. And they're five, seven, and nine. So this is either one, nine, or three, seven, and that can't be a one or a nine. So this is a three, seven, and the three is looking down, making that the seven and that the three. That puts seven in one of those two by Sudoku. These are one, five, nine now for the column. That can't be a nine, and that one can't be a one. Okay. This is an odd digit, which can't be one or nine or seven. So this is only three or five. Six and six means this, not that, but this is a six, which is even. There's a four in one of those two. And the four is looking up saying that's not the four. So this is the four, which is even. And this is an odd digit, which is five, seven or nine. Three is in one of those two by Sudoku because of the threes looking into the box. This is a three. Three and three mean none of those could be three. That can't be a three because of that one. That is an eight. That is a three. I need to put a two in here, which isn't there. So two is in one of those two, which means this is odd because two, four, six, and eight are approximately placed, or that digit sees all of two, four, six, and eight which means there's a six in one of those two, which means two, four, six, and eight. Yeah, these, these cells, see two, four, eight, and the six. So those are odd. So one of these is odd and the other one is a two. I know what these digits are because they're two. I've got three, four, these are two and seven because they're the digits that haven't been placed in the column. Two, seven, which doesn't mean these are two and seven, I think, but these are two and seven because I haven't placed two and seven even approximately in the column. But with two, seven unable to be in those and two, seven unable to be in those and that being a three, five, why can't that be seven? Oh, because of that. So that can't be two or seven because it's odd and it can't be seven. This is a two, seven pair. And the two makes that the seven and that the two. That's neat. This puzzle seems easier than some of the previous ones. One, two, three, five. There's got to be an eight and a nine in here. So the eight is in one of those two. So two, four, six, and eight are in those. This is an odd digit. 
So this is 3, 5, or 9. 7 is over here. 4 is in one of those two. 2 isn't in those. This is 1, 5, or 9. These are 3, 5, and 9. Is it this? It can't be 4, 6. If it's 1, 9, it's in that order. If it's 2, 8, it's in that order. If it's 3, 7, it's in that order. And it can't be 4, 6. Oh, it can't be 1, 9. So it's either 2, 8, or 3, 7 in that order. This isn't a 5 because of that. What's this triple? 1, I've got 2, 3, 4, 5, I've got 6, 7, 1, 5, 8, and there's no 1 in any of those. That's the 1, which is odd. This is a 5, 8, which is one of each. But the 5 in row 7 means that's the 8 and that's the 5. So we've got even and odd. That puts 8 in one of those two. Oh, the three is saying this isn't the three. So this is the three. That's this three here. I missed that. So these are five, eight, nine, not seven, nine, five, eight, nine. Okay. Three is Definitely in one of those two for the column, because I can't put three down here. I seem to have a distinct lack of information over this side of the grid, don't I? Four is in one of those two, because of the one four looking up. One is in one of those two because of the two ones looking right, but the one four looking up. Oh, this can't be a four because of the one four looking down. This is the four, which is even. One is not in any of those for the same reason. One can't be in those and one can't be in those. So one is in one of those two, making that the five, which makes this the nine and this the one. Taking nine out of those, making this a five, seven. That's neat. The nine takes nine out of there. So five and oh, five is done. Seven, seven is down. What is this? This is one, two, or nine, and it can't be two. This is an even, and that's a one, nine pair, meaning that's the two, meaning this isn't the two and is therefore odd, which is three, five, or nine, and it can't be three or five. That's the nine, that's the one, taking nine out of those be in the right mode. This is a three five. So this is six nine. Okay. The one is looking across making that the four and that the one. So we've got even and odd. The four is looking back making that the six and that the four and the six is making that the nine and that the six. So we've got even and odd. The nine takes nine out of there. Uh, the three, of course, makes this the two, which makes this the eight. These are now both even. That means this isn't the eight. This is the eight, which is even. One has to be down here. That's Yeah, that's the nine. And these are one, two, and seven. Well, there's no one there. Then there's no two in either of them because of that two. So seven, one, and two. At this point, I think I can get rid of the coloring. I'm going to get rid of the coloring at this point because overdosing on coloring is definitely a way to make a lot of mistakes. And I think I'm done with parity at this point. So this column is missing three, five, and seven. And that can't be three or seven. That's a five. And this is a three, seven pair. The five says this isn't the five. This row is missing four eight and nine.
that can't be a four anymore. So that's the four and this is an eight, nine. This column, the one is looking up saying that's not the one. So that's the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, and nine. And the nine is looking across. So that's the three, that's the nine, but the three also makes that the seven, taking seven out of there. Uh, but the five, of course, makes that the nine and that the eight. The eight looks across making that the nine, which makes that the five, which makes that the eight. The five looks across making that the seven and that the five. The seven looks down making that the three, which looks across making that the five and that the three. The five looks back saying that's not the five. The eight turns around making that the nine, which makes that the five and that the eight. This seems to be easier. I suppose he was the first raid boss. Ragnaros is, you know, pretty much considered a cakewalk these days. Um, so what are these? These are five, six, and seven. The five and the six here makes this the seven. Take the seven out, and then I'll use the six to make that the five and that the six. Yeah, nice nice little puzzle cool good fun um yeah puzzles don't need to be brutal to be fun and this is a prime example of that hopefully you're getting nice little coffee break puzzles this is definitely what i've been aiming for on the channel a bit more recently and it seems to be working i'm getting a lot of positive feedback about it and honestly i'm getting like a lot more engagement with the channel than I was when I was doing a lot longer puzzles. So um, like my, I mean, for people who are interested in YouTube statistics, my watch time is up. Um, my engagement is up. Um, the view counts are going up. Um, yeah. It's, it's just really, really nice. YouTube seems happy for a change. They're just not happy that I don't say, please like, and subscribe um, more often. Um, but uh People are happy, and that's what matters. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying the elements of Azeroth series, and please go check out Rockrite Zero's Kickstarter. I think it's going to be something really special. Thanks, everyone, and as always, good luck with your solving. Mm -hmm.